Hey guys, Vampire 20 back again, and today we're going to be taking a look at New Super Lucky's Tale on the Nintendo Switch. Now this is a beautiful 3D platformer, and I absolutely love this game, and I happen to think some of you guys will too. So today I want to take you guys through the very first level, just to show you what this game is all about. Alright, so this already looks amazing, and there was a pretty big cutscene that you guys didn't really get to see, because I kind of like edited that out, because it's pretty lengthy, and I don't really want to spoil too much of this game for you guys, so there was a pretty big cutscene at the very beginning of this game. So, right here is the very first level, uh, Heavy Heads Sky Castle. Let's go ahead and uh, show you a little bit and get familiar with this game. Now, this first level just kind of shows you the controls and kind of like gets you familiar with everything, so... Come on, let's go and check it out. So right here, as you can see, there's some signs telling you how to look around, and you use the right uh, control stick, obviously. Let's talk to this dude right here. Oh man, it must be really losing it. Go away, little figment of my imagination. I know you're not really here. Wait, you are really here. Oh my gosh, you're real. I'm so happy right now. Sorry, it's just been ages since I've had anyone to talk to. Oh man. Wait, I know that guardian sigil. Are you a swift tail? Jeez, where are my manners? Welcome to Sky Castle, former home of the Guardian Order. My name's Greg, and I'm the Mail Golem. At least I was before the portals to the other worlds disappeared. I'd help you get home, but I'm uh, stuck here. Even with your sigil, the book seems to be missing pages. We can't travel without them. So, as you guys can see, this whole game's revolved around you kind of collecting things, and pages is one of the key things that you will be collecting. You know, if that big gate was open, we could uh, ask the other golems for help. Maybe if you ring that doorbell up there, they'll let us in. It's kind of hard to reach. Uh, try tail swiping that switch over there. All right, let's go ahead and go over there. So right here is kind of showing you how to play. Press the Y button, and that's kind of how you, like, swing your tail. Let's go through some of the controls. Um, a jumps, or um, actually A or B jumps, and you can actually do a double jump as well. You can press the ZR button and kind of, like, go in the ground right there. The game hasn't really showed us that yet, but I kind of already played a little bit of this game, so I kind of already know how it plays. So as you can see, he's showing us how to double jump right now. You can kind of do like a, a little ground pound there. If you're familiar with Super Mario 64, then you're really going to be familiar with this game because kind of, you know, it's a 3D platformer, so you should be very familiar with it. Like if you like Banjo-Kazooie, you know, Super Mario 64, any games like that, you're going to really, really love this game. plays really smooth. It looks downright gorgeous. Hopefully my capture card is doing it justice, but it, it really does look really, really nice. So, And here we go. So we went ahead and we opened that. And it's just like your typical, you know, 3D platformer. There's going to be puzzle solving. There's going to be collectibles. There's obviously a driven story, but it's just, it's a really fun, beautiful cute game and I, I love games like this it's my favorite genre to be honest you guys know i'm a huge uh, platformer guy especially 3d platformers it's kind of my thing <laughs> oh man master mittens oh no master mittens <laughs> what's this a villain came to steal a rightful property of jinx in the kitty litter <laughs> prepare yourself for your face, the wrath of mittens. Master, uh, wait, that sigil, are you a guardian? Uh, I've waited for this day, though I hope for someone taller, perhaps you could be my arch nemesis. Every hero needs a rival, and perhaps you will become mine. Aha, but first, you must prove yourself worthy. I'll be waiting for you in Sky Castle, tiny rival, but for now, I vanish. <laughs> Gotta love Master Mittens. Hey you, help ahead out. The great golem was taking a nap when Sky Castle was attacked. My brothers and I barely had enough time to hide the clover pages, and uh, we found before the strange cat knocked our heads off. Oh my god, they got their heads knocked off. Pick me up and take me back to my body by the bell. We need to whack the great golem if we're going to stop that fetish feline. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick this guy up. Take him over here. Looks like there's two other ones we need to collect. Boom. And looks like we've gone Iron Man on these guys. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Iron Man with the light up chest there, but uh 
There we go. I, I love how you can go underground and pop back out. It's really cool. You can, I think you can attack like that, too. As you can see, you can kind of come up and attack. Very cool. There's different ways you can kill different enemies, so that's nice. What's this little guy? Okay, I guess he does nothing. I just fell off. Okay, don't do that. But anyways, look at this little guy over here. I, I didn't see him the first time I played. I, I think he's just for... Okay, he doesn't do anything. So you can't really interact with uh, some of the <laughs> like the butterflies and stuff. Guys, I like to explore everything. And if you're like me, you're going to want to really explore um, everything. Because there's, like I said, there's things to collect in this game. So spinning your tail ain't going to kill these guys. I guess you got to actually hop on their head. And here we go. Time for Greg Tip. Holding down the ZR button will let you bear. Okay, we already know that. Yeah, we already know that. Now, there are some loading screens um, that are a, a bit lengthy. This one wasn't too bad, but there are a few that kind of get a little long. You guys know how I am about loading screens. It's not too bad. It doesn't break the game or anything. All right, here we go. we got to try to... I think this is like a time challenge here. Oh, no. Are we going to get them all? We got him. Woo! Close. Just by, this, just by the skin of our teeth there. That was close. There we go. Made a little mistake, but I was able to recover. Each level has a hidden page, usually as part of a puzzle. I'd help you find them, but I'm not very good at puzzles. They stress me out. So, as you can see, there are uh, another page hidden without the throughout the level with the puzzle. So, I guess we'll see if I can find it. I'm not very good at puzzles myself. Leave a comment below. Let me know. If, are you good at puzzles? Because... Not very good, I'm going to be honest. That's why I love Zelda games, but sometimes some of the puzzles really do stump me, and sometimes I'm, like, on YouTube looking up how to do certain things. But, uh, we'll see. Here we go. Looks like we're going to have to hit that thing up there. There we go. And there's our, our second guy here. There should be one more. Loving the music. So, guys, leave a comment below. Let me know so far if you've made it this far in the video. What do you think about the game so far? I'm actually really enjoying it. I can see myself probably playing this game all the way through, 100%ing the game. Matter of fact, I probably will because, like I said, I love games like this. So, definitely going to be doing that. So, we have one more we have to find after this guy. And that's probably going to light up his eyeball. Yep, one more to light up. Now I want to go back up here because I'm not sure if I collected everything. Let's see. Yeah. So we got everything. I Oh no, there's a K up there. I knew it. So you can spell lucky, so we're missing the U, C, and the Y, so... We'll see if we can find those or not. I'm not going to, like, worry about it too much if I can't find them all, but I would like to. I see a little diamond down here. Definitely going to get that. Right, let's go over here. There we go. I knew I missed something over here. Be so okay, right here we go. I was going to say, there's got to be something over here. There it is, the C. So now we're missing the U and the Y. I'm not sure what happens exactly when you spell lucky. Obviously, you're probably going to get something. guess we'll find out here shortly. Oh, there it is. There's the U. So now we just need the Y, and we should be done. So we should be able to get them all. This ain't too hard. And these little coins here, if you barrel under the ground, that's how you'll be able to collect all these. I already activated that, right? Yes, I did. All right. What's this thing do? Just for decoration, I guess? I don't know.
And, uh, I'm not sure if that's a puzzle or not. Like they said, they said there's a puzzle in here that gives you another, another page, but we'll see. Oh, there's something over here. There we go. Let's see. Can you go in that hole? Nope. Hold on, you can hit that bell. Oh, there we go. There's the Y. Got it. Lucky. So what do we get? Let's see. We got... Oh, you get a little clover. A little clover page. There we go. This should be our last guy here. And I think that's it. I'm not sure if this ends the level or not, but I guess we're about to find out. And there we go. Now that's going to ring the bell. We should be able to light up the, the last eyeball here. And this thing should come to life, I would imagine. This statue reminds me of a movie. I'm not exactly sure what movie. He looks very familiar. Obviously, I don't think that's the character they're going for, but leave a comment below. What He reminds me of something. I just can't really put my finger on it. And here we go. We got another page here. There we go. So there you go. You got to collect pages into the book, and that's pretty much what this game is all about. That's level complete. 268 out of 300 coins, so we did miss a few coins. We got the lucky. It looks like there was a hidden page that we did not collect, so obviously there was a missing puzzle that I did not do. So, like I said, this is the very first level, and I already missed one of the hidden pages. So there are things that you can collect in this game that are hidden. So keep your eyes peeled, and if you are a completionist, you're probably going to really enjoy this game because, like I said, there's a lot of things to collect. And there looks like there's a bunch of hidden pages as well throughout the level. So that's pretty much all for right now, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you plan on getting this game. It's available right now on the eShop. I highly recommend it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. And that's pretty much all for right now, guys. And as always, there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again.